Hey guys, this is Daniel from the Arms Family Homestead and I'm out doing some work in the high tunnel today. So let me show you what I'm gonna be doing, kind of talk you through this real quick. If you'll remember, oh, last fall, uh, I put these three raised beds in here and they've done really well, everything grows in them great and I've always said I wanted to do more raised beds in here. Those were made mostly out of sheet iron. You can tell there's sheet metal on the bottom with just a wood uh, frame around the top to hold them together. Those were extremely time consuming to build. It took almost about 10 hours to build those three and I don't have quite as much leftover scrap sheet metal right now. So I'm gonna be putting some more raised beds in here and let me show you what I'm doing there. Okay, so those first three are down that side wall and I built them right at three feet wide and it's just a little bit too wide without having a walkway down the side. So I'm gonna start over here on this side and instead of going three feet wide, I'm gonna put a, a raised bed all the way down this and make it two foot wide, have a walkway and then a bed about right here that's three feet wide. Uh, I'm gonna leave all this open in the middle for now. I didn't, have, I didn't buy enough material to do all raised beds here. And then I'm gonna put another one that's three feet wide. Basically you can see the layout right there. So. I'll have a raised bed, walkway, raised bed, a walkway, and then I'm gonna leave the middle open, like I said, where I plant in the ground still. So I'm gonna be building three raised beds in here today, two of them that are three feet wide, and one over here that's two feet wide, and they're gonna be 40 feet long. And here's what I'm gonna be building them out of. It's nice to live in a small town because I just called my local lumber yard and they delivered it because my trailer isn't functional right now. I've got some issues with my trailer so they just delivered the lumber for me for free awesome deal i'm building them out of two by tens pressure treated two by ten they're 16 foot long so each bed will have you know be 40 foot long so i'll have two boards full length 16 foot and then i'll cut one in half and have an eight footer now i know everybody has their own thoughts and opinions on using pressure treated lumber but I've built raised beds out of just straight untreated pine and they only last about a year. They don't hold up very well. You know, I'm not gonna go into all the details on why you should or shouldn't use pressure treated lumber. Do your own research. If you feel safe using pressure treated lumber, go for it. Um, but first off, I just regular pine that's untreated, doesn't last very long. Could use cedar, works great, very expensive. Redwood, best option, holy cow. I just can't afford that stuff, so. We're going pressure treated lumber and they should hold up for several years. So I'm gonna get started guys. fancy I'm just gonna build a simple box just just a box out of two by tens I'm using these uh, coated deck screws I'm not just gonna use red regular old steel screws because they will rust out and fall apart in no time um, I'm gonna screw the corners together and I'm gonna I've cut some pieces of a pressure treated two before I'm gonna put those in there just to screw in from both sides to help secure these corners a little better because you're gonna have the weight of that soil pushing out all the time So one obvious concern that you would have with having a bed this long is this outside boards pushing apart by the weight from that soil in there. So I've cut a board the same length as what I want the width of my bed to be. I'm just gonna screw it in place in here and that'll help hold that bed together instead of letting it push out from the weight of the soil. There we go. Simple as that. Now the bed can't spread apart, so it'll always be consistent, two feet wide all the way down. Because we all love straight lines, and I can tell you right now, that's not a straight line. So we'll go get that other center brace put in. Well, here's bed number one in place. Still need to level it out. It's a little low on this side over here, so I just need to shim it up a little bit and then fill it up. 
but I really like this narrow width of this bed up against the wall and I'm going to show you why. Especially in my specific high tunnel. See, since I've got these, uh, these two hand cranks on my wall, this one opens my center ridge vent up. And then the farthest one back there opens that back wall up. I can still grow up here close to the wall, close to my sidewall. I've got two feet of width I can grow in here, but it still gives me plenty of ease of access to these hand cranks. I like this width. It's a lot easier to reach in. On the other side, I've got those three foot wide beds and it's just kind of hard to reach. I should have left a walkway. Um, but these other two beds I'm gonna build next are gonna be three foot wide, but they won't be a problem because I'll have a, a walkway on both sides. So three foot will be good. I could probably actually go four. I just don't want to go too wide. Time to get started on the next beds. Carrying a pressure treated two by 10. Now that'll make your babies be born with hair on their chest. I ain't joking, them things, I bet they weigh, I don't know, 160, 170 pounds a piece. They are heavy. Babies, born, hair on their chest. One thing you've always got to remember when you're working with this dimensional lumber like this. <clears throat> so as I said, my beds are 40 foot long, 16 foot board, two boards, that's 32 feet. Then I need an eight foot board to finish it off. Well, don't forget this lumber. It's a two by 10 by 16 foot long. Well, it's actually two by 10 by 16 foot one inch. So when I cut these in half, if I just cut it at eight foot, one side's gonna be a little longer than the other be out of square so I'm having to cut these measure them eight foot one half inch so don't forget dimensional lumber is not true two by ten by sixteen is more like inch and a half by nine and a half by sixteen foot one half inch so don't forget that <laughs> it'll throw you off square bad trust me don't ask me how I know just trust me Well, there's bed number two in place. Got it all built. Looks a little wavy right there. Still got to get it straightened out, get my walkway spaced out right. I'm putting a two foot walkway in between those beds. Should be plenty of room. Just got to get it set in place and level it out. Two down, one to go for today. Boom, bed number three, done. And it's uh, not even quite two o'clock. So I'll show you the big reveal and close to finish, but not quite. So I don't have my beds filled yet, but we'll get there pretty soon. I just got to get my tractor up and going. So as I said earlier, two foot bed down the sidewall gives me access to get to my uh, hand winch to open my, my vent. Two foot walkway, three foot bed, and I've got about nine feet left in the middle. And then number three bed, three foot wide with a two foot walkway in between those. So there's what I got. Three new beds, 40 feet long, two of them three foot wide, one two foot wide. It's a lot of growing space. And the good thing is, I can raise that back wall up, straddle this bed, and haul in my soil. So I don't have to do it by wheelbarrow and hand. I can just drive right across the top of that bed and fill these things up. So can't wait to get them filled up and get them planted. It's time to get some stuff in the ground. And uh, I'm excited. So there you have it. Not bad for a day's work. I mean, started about 10, finished up about two. Now I've got an hour to take off, lay down, rest, and then go to work. I've got to work a shift tonight. So i got to work three to 11 this evening. Not too worn out, not too exhausted. Anyways, let me know what you think, guys. Do you prefer these raised beds? Do you like growing in a raised bed or do you prefer straight in the, your soil? Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on the matter? What are your thoughts on the uh, treated lumber? Um, some people don't like it. Some people say it's the only way to go. I mean, it's just a, just a personal preference, but I don't know. So what are your thoughts? Guys, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.